just made up something to make it as scary and ugly as possible. We want to find the oxidation state of this thing. So it's a moly 3, Cl2, OH2, NH3, H2O, close brackets F2. Well, let's get the charge on all these. Moly is the only one we don't know. Cl, there's two chlorine ligands, would be uh, each one has a minus one. Each one of the hydroxies have a minus one. Uh, ammonia is zero, and water is zero. Uh, F, even though it's counter ion, still has a charge, and it's minus one. So uh, if F is minus one, I want to know the charge in the brackets here, in the brackets. Well, if that's minus one, there's two of them minus two, so the brackets must be plus two. The brackets must be plus two. Okay? Because there's minus two. So what I usually do is find the charge in the brackets and, and then go from there when I set up my formula. Okay, let's set up the formula. There's three mollies plus two chlorines at minus one plus two hydroxides at minus one plus one ammonia at zero and one, uh, zoom out a little bit, water at zero. And that equals the overall charge of minus 2. Plus 2. Thank you. All right, there we go. Plus 2. Okay, 3 molys equal uh, minus 2 minus another 2 equals overall charge of plus 2. 3 molys equals plus 6. Or moly equals plus 2. All right, so no matter how scary it is, you can still set up a little formula to figure out what it should be. Any questions about that one? So you always need to be able to find the charge. We're not going to name this as too ugly. <coughs>